Welcome to episode 14, Hurt of the Heart. I want to start by pointing out that if you are having difficulty understanding what I'm saying, you can turn on close captioning. You know, a friend of mine texts me after listening to episode 10 to ask me who broke my heart. I told him that a hurt of the heart is not the same as a broken heart. I told him to listen to, to the episode about hurt of the heart for an explanation. So, here it is. But, you have to listen to the end. Of course, a hurt of the heart often occurs when someone you love deeply and care about deeply and may have spent a lot of time with does something to you that makes you realize that they don't love you. What's the difference between a hurt of the heart and a broken heart? Well, a broken heart suggests a lover's heart being broken by someone with whom they were having a relationship. So getting your heart broken by a lover does cause a hurt of the heart. But a hurt of the heart could occur not just between two lovers, but between a parent and a child, or a leader and a follower, or between two teammates, or even between just two acquaintances. When it occurs, the person who suffers a hurt of the heart is not hurt because they realize the other person they love doesn't love them. It's because they realize deep down that the person they care about or love or had a high opinion of or whom they ex esteem, that person for whatever reason doesn't love them or care about them or even really like them. In in fact, that person perhaps is incapable of loving or caring about or liking them. It can occur to a mother who devotes her life to a child that then turns on her, or a child who idolizes a parent but one day comes to the realization that all the parent was doing for the child wasn't because of love for the child but ultimately for the parent's interests. I've suffered a hurt of the heart from people I've loved. Remember the definition of love in blog episode 10? Love is putting someone else's happiness before your own and trusting that they will do the same. So a hurt of the heart will occur when someone you put your trust in breaks that trust. So you want me to tell you about what somebody did to hurt my heart? Well, I can remember four times in my life when I suffered a hurt of the heart. I'm going to tell you about one of those instances, but I'm not sure it's the one you were expecting. I remember many, many years ago, this guy who kept inviting me to, to join a group to play racquetball regularly at this Helton Racquetball Club in Canarsie, Brooklyn. He'd often call me to encourage me to come out and play with the group. He was the leader of the group. He seemed to have a genuine interest in my well-being. I respected him. So eventually I was there, the only black guy playing regularly with the group and one of the youngest. But there was this thing where whenever I was on the court with a certain two of the guys, whether playing singles or doubles or threesomes, which is called cutthroat in racquetball, I always seem to eventually get struck in the back with the ball, real hard. So one day, I just felt that this dude, the main culprit, was deliberately aiming to hit me with the ball. And it really upset me and I confronted him about it and we got into an argument. Eventually, he laughed at me and announced how much fun the group was having teasing me behind my back and brought up something derogatory that the de facto group leader had allegedly said about me. I looked over at the group leader and saw that what the dude said he said was true. But worse, I saw that there was no shame on the face of this man who had been treating me so much like a body and who I had respected. That hurt my heart. So what's the hurt of the heart? A hurt of the heart occurs when you realize that someone in your life that you would never contemplate trying to 
hurt or harm does you hurt or harm? Let me repeat that. A hurt of the heart occurs when you realize that someone in your life who you would never contemplate trying to hurt or harm does you hurt or harm. You never forget a hurt of the heart. If you let it, it might scar you for life. But it doesn't stop you from continuing your life. You just have to get to the point where you look at it as a learning experience. If it's somebody you genuinely love, you don't have to stop loving them. You just put some distance between you and that person and or you set up boundaries. It no longer makes sense to put their happiness before your own because you now know you cannot trust them to do the same for you. So, are they capable of regaining your trust so you get back together? People break up and make up all the time, right? Not so easily from a hurt of the heart. 